I'm going to begin with, I, I, I hope it's not too uh, esoteric and you have no interest in it. I'll jump over it right away if you don't. It occurred to me, in a way, this is like what you do as actors in that you have to be able to handle things that are happening very much out of sequence, it's not linear. You're uh, dealing with various levels from script to subtext and what have you. So in a way, the concept of this film is the kind of way you as professionals live your life as actors, isn't it? To what extent would you agree or disagree with that? I think that's an interesting thesis, uh, yeah. Sort of analogy, yes, absolutely. Yeah. I think actually, and, and my, my character in, in this is a, is a forger and a shapeshifter as well. So I, I, have a, I, I do identify a lot because I play different characters in different roles as well within the piece. It's because if taking your analogy means that also I take, I play different roles in life too. Yeah. And you know, there's, there's the whole thing of dreaming and when you're in a dream that you get to sort of play different characters and from what point of view uh, do, do, do you... Uh, um, do you play in a dream? You know, is it from? Sometimes it's from the third person. Sometimes it's your own point of view. That's kind of interesting. I think it, clutching at straws. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Uh, to what extent did you know ahead of time exactly how things were going to play out? I, th this looked to me like it had to be a very carefully scripted film in which there couldn't be that much leeway uh, to to play with it. Am I wrong? Good. Yeah. It didn't change much. I mean, it, it it was very tightly constructed, I think, as a script. Um, and Chris knew exactly where everything fitted, always, you know. It's kind of like a jigsaw puzzle or like a maze that he kind of leads you through, you know. Yeah, it's very specific, isn't it? I mean, the, the thing about, um, the thing about this, this script is although it, uh, when, when first approaching and first reading it, it seems very, very complicated because it's multifaceted, mm -hmm. many layers, lots of uh, different character arcs and... <clears throat> different dreamscapes and levels of subconscious etc that everything has to be entirely accounted for by the director by Chris who created it mm -hmm. like it's almost like somebody has to be responsible for all the nuts and bolts and on a battleship and how many exactly go into creating that monolith of a, of a piece so um, I think all the tough work you know um, was, had been done by Chris long before any of us even hit the floor so uh, what was wonderful about working with him amongst many other things was the the intimate and safe secure environment he provided for us as performers to inhabit and uh, and take scene by scene step by step very simply apply his story and deliver it as we could in performance but he's not uh, a prescriptive director in any mean by any means in terms of the performance I mean he allows it very much to grow organically on the floor between the two the two actors and you're very much encouraged to sort of be free. It's a yeah. tremendous freedom An he allows experiment. us, which could only happen to someone for, from somebody who's so done all the homework before. Yeah. You know, so it was a relative ease on set, whereby it was almost we completely ignored the huge elephant in the room, which was this <laughs> massive movie that was yeah. being made. And meanwhile, we were all very much at home with one another, and it was a very discreet, intimate, and sensitive, caring environment with which to to investigate an otherwise what would seem to be gargantuous um, project. Yeah. Gentlemen, thank you very much. You're welcome. Appreciate it.